was a year ago, actually almost to the day that um, I called Palyuko, I called Louise. Um, my husband was in the hospital in saint Jerome. Um, my husband had um, a disease called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF, a very severe pulmonary disease. And he was in an, an acute exacerbation. And when we got him to the hospital, the doctor told us that uh, he would be there for a couple of weeks, but that he would need palliative care. And I didn't want to hear those words. I didn't want to accept that. Um, but it was true. And um, after the second day he was in the hospital, I was on my way uh, to pick up a coffee as I was driving to Saint Jerome, and I ran into a friend of mine, Louise Delbecq, who didn't know that Bruce was in the hospital, and said, uh, "How are you doing?" And I told her, and she could see that I was not—I was tired, I was very upset. And she said, "Kim, you know you have to call Palyuko now." And I said, "I know, but." Uh, I, I thought it was just for people with cancer, and she says, no, it's, f it's for anybody who needs help, um, for people who are in final stages of disease or for, for you for re respite uh, help, c because look at you. So on the 21st of August, we got him home, and um, Louise called me back because we were going to have accompaniment support for him starting the following Tuesday. Um, and actually the accompany su accompaniment support was turned out to be a friend of ours, uh, Terry Goodyear. And Terry popped in on the Friday that um, after Bruce got home just to say hello and told us that he would be coming to see Bruce on um, the following Tuesday, but uh, unfortunately Bruce died two days after he got home. Mm. I was put in touch with um, the um, grief support services with Paul Bertram, and that's how I became more involved with uh, the support at Palyuco was by coming to visit uh, Paul Bertram here at Palico. I, he provided uh, amazing support for me at the time. I was, I was a mess. I just, uh, I didn't know if I was coming or going. There's so many things to do after somebody dies. It, w it was overwhelming. Um, and the support I received was, um, was just amazing. I think one of the, the biggest things I came to realize was I should have called Palyuko much sooner than I did. I would drive by Palyuko every day on my way to the hospital and I, I would look, it's funny, I would look at the building and I would say, you know, I know they're there for uh, respite support, they're there to help people who are grieving, but I had just denied the fact that my husband was really dying and um, it took me until my friend Louise kind of gave me a shake and said Kim it's time you make this call you have to call them now and um, I just wish I had called them earlier because I could have used support um, much earlier in the process um, because I was the primary caregiver and I was I was really just I was burnt out and it would have helped me if if um, I'd had accompaniment earlier in the process or even just to come and talk to somebody would have helped me a lot but Anyway, um, I think the, the, the main message to people is to um, call
called Palyuco early. Um, they are an amazing support in our community. Um, they can help help you a lot in the grief process and accompaniment. Um, just make things easier for you and um, the support is free and it's uh, it's amazing support and it's it's here in our community and um, a lot of people were are like me they don't really know what type of people they um, are there for and um, they're there for anybody who has um, family members who are either in the uh, stages of like my husband in palliative care or who have have died to help um, the caregivers and provide accompaniment to um, to the patient so that the caregiver has respite when when required so I would really just like to thank Palyuco for the support that they provided me and um, because it, it's a really tough journey that you have to go on when you go through the grieving process and you don't have to go through it on your own. There's people um, here at Palyuco who can help you and make your journey a lot, a lot easier and uh, they can provide support for your loved ones. So um, please just reach out and, and call them early very early in the process and that's what I would recommend and I just want to thank Palyuco for the support that they provided me and hope that uh, by talking to you I can encourage somebody else out there to um, call early and get the support you need.